Hi, Tambra. Oceana here with G3 Agency with your free SEO website audit for building Ed Lacer in San Antonio, Texas. In this video, I'll show you how to get more jobs with your website by getting it in front of the people searching on Google for remodeling services in the San Antonio area. This video is totally free and all I ask in return is some feedback if you found this helpful. The first thing I want to say is that your site is quite pretty. I like it overall. Um, I would add a big click to call phone number up here at the top and I would also increase the amount of words that you have on your page. Um, you do a good job of talking about what you do and even talking about where you do it, but I would really add a lot more words here about um, how you do it, uh, you know, who you do this for, um, just lots of words. Google really loves content and the more words you have about you know about your industry uh, about your work uh, the more it's going to understand what you do and it's going to help build trust with Google and that's what this whole game is about okay so the next thing is the um, the images on your site so if I right click on any given image theoretically let's see if it works with this one well that's not an image that's a video uh, huh, maybe a gallery work there we go here we are. Let's see if I right click on this image and click save image as I can see this was saved as 2020713, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so um, this is a missed opportunity. What you want to do is actually save these images again, um, but this time save them as key phrases that people are actually typing into Google each and every month when they're looking for your services in the San Antonio area. Um, and I'll show you some that you can use that I found um, and also how I found them uh, in a moment. But first, um, this is the tool that I use. It's called Arifs, and I use the Site Explorer function of it to check out your website's metrics and find out how it's performing. So um, there are a few numbers I want to point out to you that are uh, kind of important. So your UR score here is basically how trustworthy, how credible and powerful your web page is, this exact one. So in this case, it's your home page. And then uh, the DR score is the same thing, but for your entire site. So there is a little bit of an imbalance here. This is a normal imbalance, but I would I would caution you to be careful and make sure that this doesn't get too low. Uh, basically, it's showing that these backlinks and referring domains are mostly going to your home page. You probably have the most content on your home page. It's normal for your home page to do a little better than your site on on as a whole. But you do want to bring this uh, number up. You want to bring both of these up, but especially this DR score because it's going to affect you. Um, and so what you want to do is go out and get trustworthy and relevant websites uh, or referring domains to have lot, um, uh, links from their website back to yours. And those are called backlinks. And that's going to help to increase these scores and help you show up at the top of Google. Uh, and then I can see that you're showing up for 21 organic keywords, but you're only getting one person on average each month coming from those keywords, which means you're not showing up very high <laughs> on those keywords, I can tell. Um, so the, the highest you actually um, sit on a Google search is in the eighth position, and that's only if somebody looks up EDL construction. Um, so this isn't a very good profile, uh, but that's okay. I can tell you how to how to fix it. Um, so I did a little research with also still Arifs, but this time I used Keywords Explorer rather than Site Explorer. I put in San Antonio, and then I cross-referenced that with um, a bunch of different things that you do. Masonry, flooring, landscaping, roofing, cabinet, uh, concrete, remodel, um, all these things. And then I excluded a couple of things that were messing up my my uh, results here and then you know there are some things that are not helpful for you like paintless dent repair san antonio texas sure it has the word paint in there in san antonio but it's not helpful right but i highlighted some that i thought might be helpful for you uh, landscape san antonio for example or i mean sorry landscapers san antonio um, so there are a couple metrics here i want to point out um, your 1.7 volume here. So this means that there are 1.7 thousand people each month 
typing this exact key phrase into Google each month uh, on average. So uh, that's a lot of people searching for landscapers um, in your area, but it's got a KD of 16, which is a little higher than we like to go after, at least for beginners. Uh, me and my team, we could probably knock this out and see, see results fairly quickly, um, meaning, you know, uh, SEO, it takes a while. This is the, um, this is building trust with Google. So even if this KD here and what this KD is is basically how trusted you are uh, sorry nope wrong definition uh, scratch that reverse it <laughs> Um, so KD stands for keyword difficulty and what it's talking about is um, how difficult it would be um, to get to the front page of Google for this exact key phrase um, and it's basically a score of, of it's a measure of how competitive it would be to get there. So 16 is a little bit harder for a beginner, um, but me and my team, we work on, on KDs this high and higher all the time. Uh, but I found one that's a little bit easier for you to go after. What was it? Kitchen Remodeler San Antonio. So uh, Kitchen Remodelers. Okay, so this one here, Kitchen Remodeler San Antonio. It's got a KD of 10. That's a little bit lower, a little bit easier to go after. We really like um, like five and below, but 10 is decent, especially because kitchen remodelers is a pretty high ticket item. I know that for a fact. And 900 people are searching for it every month. So you don't need to be in the first spot to get enough uh, leads from this one keyword to keep yourself real busy. Um, because uh, the first spot is going to get now this is what's called the first spot or the first organic uh, result and it's going to get about 30 percent of that 900 people coming to their site and that's a bit much so really even if you were down here um, you would get some clicks and boy would it keep you busy so that's the idea um, and then i want to go back over here and just kind of give you a chance to check out the other ones you're welcome to pause and see what else um, these are the words that you would want to include on your content and then also um, save your images as, especially if you find, you know, a little, a handful and you include those a lot on your site um, and uh, that will help you show up for those. Okay, so if we put in kitchen remodelers, San Antonio, like those 900 people are doing each month, um, we get the map pack up here. So how you end up in the map pack is with citations. Um, what you want to do is make sure that your uh, name, address, and phone number are specifically, those three are spelled just right on your Google My Business page, um, which is your listing, right? That's going to show up here if you get enough citations. And then you're going to take that and how you, how you get the citations is you take that information and you plaster it all over different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, etc. And that's going to help to prove to Google that you really exist and you really do serve that community. Um, and if it trusts you and it believes that you are um, the best result, it'll show you up here and that'll help a lot of people come to your site and call you up. So that's really cool. Um, but not even nearly as cool as showing up down here. This is the organic results. And this is where most of the people find the result they're looking for. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Uh, so this, these are different directories, so I'm not going to compare you to them. They're a little bit of a different game, but this is a local competitor of yours. I'm not sure if you recognize them by name or not, but this is the site and this is their website that is showing up at the top for that, um, for that uh, key phrase. Now I know that they're getting tons of leads, so I want to go what is it that they're doing right that I could also be doing so that I show up on that first page too? Now, their site is very nice looking for sure, but that's not nearly as important to Google. Like it's really not important to Google at all. <laughs> um, it, what's more important to Google is the content on the page, the words, right? So we're going to want to have more content than them. And we're also going to make sure that we save the images properly. So let's see if they saved their images. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. I couldn't really find very many images on their site. Their um, logo is an image and they just called it asset two. 
Um, so that's, they're not, definitely not taking advantage of saving their images properly. Um, and I couldn't even really find anything on their gallery that was saved properly. Let's see. Save image as, yeah, OMG13 uh, is definitely not one of those key phrases people are typing into Google to find their services. So they're actually not doing that, that much to show up here. Uh, so they wouldn't be difficult to um, beat if we really wanted to beat them. But like I said, you don't need to beat them. Uh, if you show up on the first page for, of Google, even lower than they do, you're going to be pretty set. Um, okay, so uh, OMG Kitchen and Bath, I put them into this uh, Arif's tool as well. And you can see their UR score is quite high, but their DR score is quite low. So this is becoming this has become quite imbalanced, um, which is another uh, cue that they've got some weaknesses there that you know they're not doing that well even though they're sitting at the top um, they're not doing a very good job of making sure they stay there um, so Google's gonna see this and think that they're not putting much effort into the rest of their website maybe because they're you know scammy or something like that so it's gonna hurt their relationship with Google uh, but this is kind of fun we can go over here to organic keywords and we can see what they're showing up for and um, the goal here is to see um, what is it that we could also show up for um, if we want to uh, include ourselves on any of those. So like um, Kitchen Design San Antonio, for example, um, it's got 60 people looking for that search term each month. It's got a high K KD though with 15. We really like five and below. Um, but this one, so this one, there's a reason that this is not a great one, even though it's got decent volume, it's got low KD, it says kitchen and bath contractors near me. You know, you would want to show up for that if somebody was searching for it and happened to be in your area, but it's not worth going after because it's near me, someone typing that in, and there's only 60 of them could be anywhere in the States. They're not necessarily near you. Uh, whereas Kitchen Designers, San Antonio, um, that's got a higher KD, but it's more specific to you and what you can do um, because of it including the area. So that would actually be a better one. Um, let's see. Uh, up here, I noticed one Kitchen Remodel in San Antonio. 100 people, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, 1,000 people are searching for it each month. It's got a KD of 10, which is... Um, it's a little bit of a marathon. It takes a little time and effort to get there, but this is not out of reach whatsoever. So I just wanted to show you how you can get ahead there, um, how you can find jobs in your area um, and show up in front of the right people at the right time. Uh, I appreciate your time watching this. I really do. And uh, I look forward to your feedback. Thank you so much. Bye.